Today we're going to talk about how to emulate film images using older Olympus cameras like the CP1. Let's take a look at this. Hey, thanks for joining me. So today I want to um, talk about how to emulate film images using older Olympus cameras like the CP1. I don't, you know, I love film cameras. I like going out and shooting film, but I don't know. There's some days when I just don't really want to deal with processing film and scanning and all that. And, um, you know, or maybe I'm just out and I decide I want to catch an image with that look. And I, I think, I know you can do this in software. You can create, you know, film grain or noise in software. And I think that using these older cameras like the CP1, you actually get a little bit better look. And there's a lot of people that say the Micro Four Thirds cameras in general, um, especially the older ones, you know, tend to have, create images that look more like film in the first place. But with these older cameras, by running the ISO up a little bit, you can create some really nice film grain effects. And you know, whether you're setting the camera to shoot in black and white or color, um, you know, it uh, it'll do it. Now, I, I tend to like to shoot them all in color and then change to black and white in the software. But if, um, you know, if you want to, you can even set the camera for black and white. So what I did is I um, went out and just actually was shooting a picture of the house across the street. It was kind of gray outside yesterday. And so I shot some images at, well, I shot an image at ISO 100 so you can see what it looks like without the noise. And then at 400, 800, I think 2,000 or 1,600, and then 3,200, 6,400. And... So you can see the, the level of grain you get with each. Now I think typically you're not going to want to shoot at 6400 or 3200, um, maybe even 2000. Uh, the grain is, is pretty stark. It's, there's a lot of it there. Now for some uses that might just work fine, but most of the time I find around 800, 1250, you get some really nice grain effects. You actually start to see it around 400. Um, but to try to simulate a film look, um, Usually around 800 is kind of where I start. <clears throat> now, I really like to do this with foggy gray days, you know, low light level kind of images to create that mood that the grain gives you. Um, although it, you know, would probably work well for, you know, full sunlight images um, with, uh, you know, maybe some landscapes or some still life or, um, you know, some old buildings, stuff like that, barns. And, you know, it's, it's just, I don't know, a really good way you can create kind of that film look. So what I want to do is I want to show you some images I've taken. I want to let you see those pictures of the house cross street so you can see the, the change in the grain. You know, depending on the camera you have, you know, it might be a different ISO setting. This uh, early Olympus CP1 was their first micro four thirds camera. These are 12 megapixel. And I think any of, any of the 12 megapixel uh, Olympus cameras, like the EPL1, the EP... What would it be? The, there's the EPL1, the EP1, EP2, maybe EP3, the EPL1, 2, and 3. Um, I think by the time you get to the 5, they started to really kind of clean up their image quality. And, and I'm sure there's a progression there. But it um, certainly these older cameras are a great way to do that. I bought this EP1 body for $50, you know, really inexpensive. Um, I bought a similar age Panasonic camera for one of my grandkids for about the same price. So these older Olympus cameras uh, are usually quite affordable. The EPL series, um, often very inexpensive. Now the EP1 has developed something of a cult following, so the prices on the EP1s have gone up just a bit, but um, this is just a great camera to do this with. So let's look at some images. Uh, we'll kind of go through those and I'll explain them as we uh, look at them and um, then we'll catch up on the other side, see what you think. Okay, these first images are just pictures of a house across the street. The first one at ISO 100 kind of is just a control. We're going to step through these different ISOs. Each one, the grain is going to be a little bit more no noticeable, especially if you're viewing this on a computer monitor rather than, a, you know, your cell phone. It, it'll become really apparent as you look at these images. Each step, they just the noise gets a bit more apparent. But you can kind of judge and see. I mean, by the time you're getting down to 2,000, it's getting pretty grainy. And uh, this, you know, was a kind of a cloudy day yesterday when I took these. 3,200 is getting pretty noisy. 
and you'll see it's 6400 especially if you're looking at a computer monitor it's pretty noisy I'm not sure I would use that speed too much probably not even 3200 okay so this next one is a picture of a dam here in Oklahoma City it was obviously really foggy this is ISO 2000 the grain is really apparent this is also at ISO 2000 on a foggy day um, you can see with this section here where I've blown up that grain that looks like film grain. I think Olympus cameras do a really good job of imitating film grain. Now this is an uh, indoor low light shot. Again ISO 2000 and if you kind of look in some of the edge areas you can really see that grain, that texture. It's one of the things I think Olympus does. Just a beautiful job of that. And this um, bridge, this is at ISO 640. And again, if you zoom in, the grain's starting to get a little bit finer. It's not as, as coarse, but it's still there. And, you know, just like different film speeds, you know, faster film speeds versus slower film speeds, the effect is much the same with this. So this is an ISO 500. You can see zoomed in, there's still some nice texture. And like I say, Olympus, I think their old cameras are just great for this. Now here we're at ISO 400. Um... And if we uh, zoom in on this, you can see in the sky, there's just something that, you know, would look very similar to what you'd see with fine grain film. Again, at ISO 400, this is kind of a cloudy, foggy day. Uh, we zoom in a little bit, you can start to see that texture. But it's getting pretty fine in some of these images. Here, we're now at ISO 200. And that uh, that grain effect is is very small. I mean, you don't it, you have to really zoom in to see much of it, but it's there. And again, it's kind of like using a finer grain film. Um, this um, this Olympus AP1 just I think does a beautiful job of emulating film. Here we go, zoomed in a little bit more at ISO 200, and yeah, that grain is still there. So that's the EP1. All right, well. I hope those images were interesting to you. Um, you know, if you have a different digital camera, you can play around with your ISO settings. Or if you've got an old digital camera sitting in the closet, maybe it's an old DSLR, maybe it's, you know, like one of these micro four thirds. It's kind of a neat idea to get it out. And uh, instead of trying to create super clean grain free images from it, see if you can use it to create that grainy film effect. I think it's a really a great way to set a mood in an image. I think you get just some really nice effects from doing that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed looking at those images. If you have any thoughts or comments, please don't hesitate to uh, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear what you think. And as always, thanks for watching.